Hey, what is up guys? It is King Alpha here and welcome back everyone to a brand new video here on the channel today ladies and gentlemen We are back on some infant or for zombies We're joined by fob and today what we're gonna be doing is actually unlocking like the final thing that I have to do here inside of infant or for zombies Well besides hit level 999 that is and that is complete the zombies in spaceland easter egg with Willard Wylard if you guys don't know how this works basically once you complete every single easter egg your very first time you will unlock directly director's cut then you have to go back and play all of the easter eggs again with director's cut and you will collect a talisman at the end of each easter egg and you'll get like a little green star next to the map name in the menu and this will basically unlock the mephistopheles boss fight which is known to be the hardest boss fight in zombies history and it is really insane but it's a really fun boss fight to actually do worst part of it is that you actually have to complete beast from beyond before you can do it so that's kind of annoying. But either way, once you complete Mephistopheles boss fight, you will unlock the Willard Wylard playable character inside of Zombies in Spaceland. But if you guys go ahead and equip Willard Wylard as a character and you go ahead and complete the Zombies in Spaceland Easter egg, you will unlock the final secret calling card that you guys can get in the game. So that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. If you guys do enjoy, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and ding that bell. Uh, let me know you guys want to see more Infinite Warfare Zombie content here on the channel in the future. I've really been enjoying this game. Hopefully you guys enjoy watching it. There's definitely a lot more videos coming to you guys soon on this game. I plan on doing every single Easter egg solo. I'm really excited for that. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy these videos as much as I do. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. First game with Willard Wylard. This guy sucks. Nah. Well, hopefully we do get an IW too. Someday. Yo, I got a direction. Imagine not putting power on. Imagine making me do everything, bro. What about your slave? Uh, so yeah, basically, I don't know what I all said in the intro, guys. But basically, just finished the... Uh, uh, Mephistopheles fight. I've uh, been playing Infinite Warfare for about mm -hmm. the last week now. And, uh, bro, there's literally zero parts in spawn. That's never happened with them. Um, yeah, I've been playing about the last week now. We started, uh, I'm gonna do a video, like, comparing all my stats. Took a picture beforehand. Um, like, day one of re-downloading the game. But, dude, it has been so much fun. I've really, really been enjoying the game. And basically, we started like level 100. I'm currently level 601. Pop and I both are. So, <laughs> we've been leveling up a lot, as you guys can tell. And, uh, yeah, so did, uh, Mephistopheles finally. Good lord, that boss fight is insane. Um, and yeah, now we are, uh, back on Spaceland. Gotta do Spaceland with Willer Wylard equipped to get the last like little secret calling card this is basically the last thing i have to do in this game besides hit 999 which you guys don't know is the max level in this game um which is pretty cool so i'm really excited and yeah and honestly guys if you have infinite warfare um or hell even if you don't have it low key go re-download it or buy it and give this game a try guys i'm not gonna lie um i know some people like kind of really hate on this game but in all honesty guys like we've really really been enjoying it there's so much to do in this game and you're actually rewarded for doing things in this game some games you're not um like you know black ops 3 you get like an rk vibe uh -huh. this game you get director's cut which is 25k at the beginning all perks permanently even if you go down if you come back up you'll have all the perks still um all like all weapons in the box are uh, pack a punched and what's really cool about this is usually in a zombies game once you um once you do the easter eggs like there's really no incentive to do them again but in this game once you un unlock director's cut you actually have to do them all again to earn a star for that map and once you're in director's cut there's like some cool like little secrets and stuff that you can go around the maps and collect which is pretty cool so yeah this game there's a lot to it it's very fun um, honestly, not really buggy. BO3 is definitely super buggy, but yeah, this game is not very buggy, I will say overall. I mean, there's a few little minor things that, um, I'm not a huge fan of in this game, 
But overall, it's been a great experience. Definitely suggest you guys re-download the game. Yeah, if you guys don't know how this Easter egg works, it's honestly very straightforward. Like, the Easter eggs in this game are really easy. Like, concept-wise, it can be a little hard sometimes. But yeah, basically, you just have to build the Steadicom, which we just got the last piece for. Talk to David uh, Hasselhoff. Go around. The UFO is going to make some weird uh -huh. noises. And uh, basically, you just have to do, like, a lockdown sequence three times. And then you're literally ready for boss fight. Like, it's pretty straightforward. And you can do this, like, back to back to back. I mean, you have to end a round every time. So, three rounds, and boom, you're, like, ready for boss fight already. Like, it's, it's honestly pretty quick. Um, the thing about this boss fight is it gets harder the more people you have. So, usually, like, Black Ops 3, the more people you want to have in your game when you're going for Easter eggs. But in this one, honestly, you want to do everything solo if you can. Because this game is literally ten times easier than solo. The zombies will have, like, less health. The bosses will have less health. And there's less enemies. So, like, for instance, on this Easter egg, if you guys don't know, it spawns in an alien. you got to shoot the alien, destroy fuses, blah, blah, blah. But depending on how many players you have, depends on how many aliens there are. So if you're doing a four-player Easter egg, there's going to be four aliens, which makes it insanely difficult. But if you're in solo, there's only one alien, which is really, really easy. So we're in duos, obviously, so there's going to be two. A little bit of a challenge, but we should be fine. Yo, 602, let's go. All right, so we're just ending the round, so hopefully the uh, UFO will make some noises for us here. Oh, yeah, there's the noises. You can pick up coins and, like, craft stuff. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so it's just going to keep making those noises, and uh, basically once it's finished, what you just finished, we can now go back to David, and we should be able to pick up the city count. we got to find where he's at, though. He's not over here. He's at Polar Peak, then. Polar, okay, we'll head over to Polar Peak. All right, he should be right over here. There he is. Talk to him. Boom, we got the city count. There it is. There's actually a location right here. Didn't get this one. This one's a little bit of RNG. There's definitely some spots that are a lot more difficult than others. You really want to get... That's over here by, um... Alligator. Okay, okay. It's not a great location, but it's only for the first one, so that's pretty good. How this works, basically, is uh, every time you do it, it gets harder. So, like, the first one is only 60 seconds long. I think the last one's... Is it, like, two minutes? It's, like, two minutes long. Which is a long time to defend this. This one's the third one's pretty tricky on solo even because two minutes is a long time. You can you can run out of ammo sometimes. There it is. We're gonna place it down. You can see the timer starts. It's gonna spawn in a whole bunch of zombies. And the thing with these zombies are they're actually um, tougher than normal zombies. So that also makes it a little bit difficult. But I got double packed Kindles, so we should be. Just fine on this first one. Damn, bro. I thought we were going to get it with no HP, but I shot you when you moved in front of me instead of the ground. Well, almost got it with no HP. You did get a max ammo, so I'm going to spam. Take the steady com. Grab the max ammo. Um, oh, we don't need that. Ooh, don't go through there. Don't want to die. And boom! That is a first one done. So all we got to do at this point, end the round and go again. All right, guys. For our second location over here, we got the fountains. I hate this location. So honestly, I'm glad we got it for our second one. <laughs> Definitely not our third. Ooh, got an insta kill. Nice, nice. Very nice. Um, but yeah, guys, drop a like, subscribe, ding that bell if you guys want to see some more Infinite Warfare Zombie content here on the channel. There's a few glitch videos that we could do, and I really want to do some videos where we go through and I do all the maps solo. Um, I think that'd be really cool. I've done some of them solo, but I actually haven't done all of them solo. But I think it'd be really fun to do that for a video. I don't know what you guys think. Drop a comment. Alright, here we go, last 10 seconds. Been pretty much a breeze so far, just spamming the ground with the Kindles. 
These things really are OP. Especially in the early rounds. <laughs> but it is only round three, so obviously they're OP. Got the max ammo. And boom! Step number two done. Just gotta do that one more time. I do need to get a wonder weapon before we go into the boss fight, though, so... Definitely gonna have to start hitting the box. That's one thing I do hate about this map, guys, is during the um, SETICOM steps, you don't earn points, which is the most annoying thing in the world. Uh, especially if you're trying to like do it semi-quickly, you just don't get enough points. All right, here we go, guys. Third and final location. We got pretty lucky. We got the uh, bottom one here, which is a pretty easy one. Especially with the Wonder Weapons. We hit the box a few times, got the Wonder Weapons. Head cutter. This one makes their head go bop like that. And it's a chaining effect. So look, I shoot it down there once, and all zombies behind them get affected too. Look at that. Is that insane? Alright, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Last seven seconds here. Which is perfect because I just run out of ammo. And boom. Third and final one complete. Alright, well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Now, all we gotta do is we have to progress two rounds. And we'll get these like little radios that we can put down on each one of these little symbols here. And uh, start like a little color Simon Says step. I'm really hoping to get two greens, because a blue and two greens make a boom box, which is basically a monkey bomb, and that can be really helpful during the boss fight, so hopefully we can get uh, two greens in these two rounds. Fingers crossed. All right. We should be able to go talk to him now. It's been two rounds. He's definitely moved by now. Where's he at? Uh, didn't get lucky. He's not over there. Um, he's Honestly, he's probably over there. I'll check Polar, but... Use everyone. Okay, yeah, figured. Yeah, so there, yep, there you go, guys. You can see above my ticket icon now, we've got those little radios. Basically, we can place all of those down right here. And this is going to start the fight. And we just got to activate these. Just like so. Alright, so I've got red and blue. I've got green and yellow. Red and blue. Green, red. Yellow, blue, green. Bro, I don't remember if the middle one was red or blue. <laughs> uh, I, I red, think, yellow, blue, green. I think this What's one up? was... Okay, I'm hitting red. Red. Yellow. Blue. Green. We got it! Okay, nice. So yeah, the middle one is red. Nice. So that is phase one done. We gotta do this a total of three times. And then some clowns will spawn in. It's like two minutes of straight clowns. Oh, blue, 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 blue. Blue. Red. Red. Okay. Yellow, green. All right, blue, red. I am ready. Are you ready? All right, yeah. I'm going. All right. Blue. Red. Yellow. Green. Nice. Second one done. Second one done. Blue, yellow, red, green. All right. Ready? Yeah. All right. Blue. Blue. Yellow, red. Red. Green. Okay, boom. Third one done. Just picked up infinite ammo. The clowns are here. Let's go ham, baby! Hopefully, get this over with, and hopefully, alien spawns are gonna kill one. Oh no, that's not gonna end. Oh, what the fuck am I getting hit with? So many clowns! I'm really sorry if this is really loud, guys. <laughs> I turned down the game volume a lot, but I still think it's really loud. Okay, surely it's about over. Uh, okay, I think it is. I'm gonna put down. Yep, it's over. Yep, anyway. 
I put down the boom box. One alien down. One done. Got another one. That's one on each. One on each. Another boom box would do, be amazing right now. Would absolutely be amazing. Anyway, down. Okay, okay. This I got this one almost down. Another one down. One so one that has none. One has none. Yeah. Got him. All right. Both just got a kill now. All right. I'm gonna go back towards middle. That one's still on green. One dead, one dead. Oh shit, okay, nice, nice, nice. Uh oh. Alright, here we go, here we go. Woo! He dropped right in front of me! Just be safe, just be safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's almost dead. Maybe I can get him. So many zombies! If you can make it. Woohoo! Watch out for the stunning effect. That's the worst, like, attack he has, bro. That stun. Killer. He's above us. He's red. He's dead. Let's go. Nice, nice. All right, we're not done yet, guys. We're not done yet. We got to shoot these things. Save the top one. Maybe if I go over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep going. Yeah, shoot, 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 shoot. Bro. Hit, 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 hit. Yeah, yeah. That's Come it. On, yeah. Let's go. Oh, my Lord. Hey, guys. It was like a nuke. Pick up alien fuse. Don't really need that, they're already in there, but... Yeah, we already have them, but... There we go. Boom, get a soul key. Boom. I saw the challenge pop up there. Get a special uh, cutscene. Now do you understand? This is why I chose each of you. There is much to do. Shall we begin? There you go, guys. Special cuts, and you only get that one if you beat mm. this with Willard Wilard. Yeah, but if we back out, see, we got some XP there, some keys. But if we head to Barracks, Calling Card, and Soul Challenges, Secret, there it is. Willard's Test. Complete Zombies the Space Land as Willard Wilder, there you go. I was about to say Lilard. <laughs> mm -hmm. I now I have um, almost every single secret one. The only one that's left, it's pretty hard. There's a specific like little Easter egg that you have to do. A uh, little side Easter egg. But you have to do it specifically at 12 a.m. Uh, New York time. Where's it? 12 p.m. Oh, there's, it's 12 something. 12 p.m. 12 p.m. The 1 p.m. Eastern. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so that one is a little annoying. Yeah, there we go. We did it, guys. We did the Easter egg with Willard Lylard. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. Like I said, if you guys did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and ding that bell. And drop a comment down below. Let us know, do you want to see more Infinite Warfare Zombie content here on the channel? And if so, what kind? Or do you want to see all of it? I don't know. Drop a comment. Let us know. We could do glitches. We could do some solo Easter eggs. We could do some dual Easter eggs. Maybe get some of you guys in here and help you guys out with the Easter eggs. I totally be down. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. As always, I love you all, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.